fairly good moral scaffolding. Not totally, but but um, right. he was ahead of his time anyway. Do you, you so you do think he was a real person? Most of the scholars I've talked to say he probably was. The evidence is not great, of course, but I think um, – I don't think it's that big a deal, actually, because he – I mean, a wandering preacher called Yeshua or Yehoshua would it not be surprising. I mean, it's a common name, right. uh, and uh, there are plenty of wandering preachers. What would be very surprising would be if he raised – Lazarus from the dead and walked right. on water. And in John chapter 7 is about Jesus attending the Feast of Tabernacles. And in verse 12 reveals on what the Jews thought about him. And I'm reading from the New King James Version. And there is much complaining among the people concerning him. Some said he is good. Others said no. On the contrary, he deceives the people. Now, Caesarea Philippi was a port that was constructed by Herod the Great. It was a place that was the capital for the Romans administrator to operate from in the Jewish territories. So you can imagine that Caesarea Philippi was a place combined with Jew and Greek culture that we refer to as Hellenism. And you can imagine that this place was filled with Roman and Greek idols. And in Matthew chapter 16 verses 13 through 17 has Jesus walking with his disciples and notice the conversation they have about who is the Christ? When Jesus came into the region of Caesarea Philippi, he asked his disciples, saying, Who do men say that I, the Son of Man, am? So they said, Some say John the Baptist, some say Elijah, and others Jeremiah or one of the prophets. He said to them, But who do you say that I am? Simon Peter answered and said, You are the Christ the Son of the living God. Jesus answered and said to him, Blessed are you, Simon Bar-Jonah, for flesh and blood has not revealed this to you, but my Father who is in heaven. So far in the word for, title, Jesus says, I am. We have Richard Dawkins and Joe Rogan say that Jesus was a person that taught morals. And then we saw at the Feast of Tabernacles, the Jews say that teach Jesus was good, and some say that he deceived. We just heard Peter confess that Jesus is the Christ. Now we are looking at Thomas Jefferson, the third U.S. President of the United States. And some may be surprised on what he thinks about who Jesus is. Now, when we think about Thomas Jefferson, we probably think about the Declaration of Independence that he wrote. Now, how many of you know that he has written his own Bible? You can see it on the left side where it says, The Life and Morals of Jesus of Nazareth, the Jefferson Bible by Thomas Jefferson. And on the right-hand side, you could take a look at the contents. And what do you notice about the contents versus the actual Bible, especially with the Gospels? You'll see that in the Thomas Jefferson Bible that it just has the teachings of Jesus. He purposely took out the miracles, death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus. And in the next slide, we'll look and see what Thomas Jefferson thinks about Jesus.
Now, I am not going to read all of what Thomas Jefferson said about Jesus. If you would like to, then you could just kind of pause it and read it for yourself. However, what you are going to see is that Thomas Jefferson thought that Jesus was just a good teacher. And he did not think that he was God nor the Son of God. We can see Thomas Jefferson's views of Jesus line up with Richard Dawkins and Joe Rogan. They just think that Jesus is just a good teacher. Now, many of us had teachers. Some teachers we cannot remember and others we do remember. We may remember them for being good teachers or bad teachers. The ones that we consider to be good teachers are the ones that taught us and help us to be ready for life. Now, skeptics that said Jesus exists would say probably he was just a good teacher. Now, again, remember, we know who our good teachers were. Now, as you remember your good teachers, would they be considered good if they lied to you? Now, when we look at the word to see for what it is, we must focus on who Jesus is because he reflects the word. Remember, he said the scriptures are about him. The word reflects him. And that's why we've been focused more looking at Jesus to see who he is. Skeptics say that he was just a good teacher. And again, would a good teacher tell us a lie? The things that Jesus said, were they a lie or were they truth? And let us see and hear what Jesus said about himself, and let us see how the Jews responded. Rejoiced that he was to see the time of my coming. He saw it and was glad. You are not even 50 years old, and you have seen Abraham. <laughs> Abraham was born. I am. Then they picked up stones to throw it. We can read what Jesus said to them in John chapter 8, verse 58. And there he testifies that he is God. Jesus said that he is God. Now, we either have to come to the conclusion that he is telling the truth, or is he telling a lie? If he's telling a lie, then we could just get rid of the Bible because it really wouldn't matter anymore. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to look and see what Jesus said about himself in the next episode to see that Jesus is God. He is the I am.